Hi guys, Snake Daughter here, welcome back to the channel. This is something new on the channel, or at least recently it's new on the channel. Um, if you guys have been with me for a long while, several years ago, um, I recorded a game called Ort Online. A few episodes, I think me and Ash did it, I think me and Dr. Creeper did it, I think I may have done one on my own. Um, but yeah, it's back, it's finished, it's released, it's now called Boundless, as you will see from the thumbnail and from the title. Um, it's a lot different from when I first played it. When we first played it, it was really in really early kind of access, alpha access. Um, the guys at Wonderstruck who made the game um, gave me a key, got in touch and gave me a key. And we, we played it a bit. It was it was very basic. It was really, really pretty much a creative mode at the time. There wasn't too much you could do. Um, but since then, I've been following it without really, or I haven't I've certainly uploaded any videos. I've been playing it on and off. Um, and then I saw a message or, or a thing on Twitter the other day saying that the game was now released. Um, updated it, downloaded it, update, updated it all, and we have just literally jumped into the world. You can see it here, it says create character. It says edit your character's head. Let's click on that. Headpiece, one of 19. Let's have a quick flick through. What was the first one called? The first one was called Fiverr. Grasp. Lotus. Shark. Baby, no, I won't do that. Um, boomerang, I like the boomerang. Cross, crescent, punk. He's quite cool. Um, a quiff. That's kind of like a devil, isn't it? Like a like a devil. You turn around, you can't you can't rotate. Quiff, bald. That would suit me perfectly. Could go for a bald one actually. I quite like the bald one. Uh, flamingo, a wibble, a bolt, a trio, sweep, slide. Prongs, my phone's dinging, petals, nubs, and fiver. Back to the start again. I think I'm going to go for bald. I quite like bald. Right, face. We've only got one. We can't change the face. Eye tint. Oh wow. Okay. There's 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 lots of there's lots of eye tints. Uh, I'd like a red eye. I'd like red eyes. Let's quickly quickly flick through. Oh, where did we see red there? We did. That's not bright red. That's that wasn't red. I want proper. Proper red. Give me proper red. Give me proper red. I'm just gonna. I'm not even looking at the right. I'm just gonna look at the eyes on the screen. Purple, quite good. Oh, a nice red. Okay, there's so many. There's a, there's, t there's 255 different eye colours. Uh, ah, cherry. That's now. That's not really rose. Rose is a rosé. It's a bit pinky, isn't it? What was that one? That was silk magenta. There must be some proper red. Let's have a look. There must be some actual. Let me just quit looking through the names and see if we can find a red. Uh, I bet it's right at the beginning and I've just kind of... What was that one? Oh, that's rose again. I want red. Deep red. There you go. Red eyes. Perfect. Character's body. Body type male or female? Well, I think I've got to be a male. Uh, we'll go... Oh, we've got different sizes. Okay, well, we'll stick to the... We'll stick to the what's the biggest you can be? 197. Right, we'll go to 190. And then body tint. Wowzers. There are so many colours. What what's there a flick? Oh, I like the Hulk. It looks like a ninja turtle. Can't do that. <laughs> it looks like a ninja turtle. Maybe go for like a whitish, like a stone colour. That's quite cool. I like him. Give him a name. We'll just call him Snake Doctor because oh, I pressed capitals. Snake Doctor. Just because why not? There you go. Snake Doctor is my character complete. Yes, he is. Attempted to create character. There we go. Import my friends. No, I haven't got anyone on, for, on Steam that plays this game anymore. Um, don't import. Let's carry on. Right, where are we going to go? We're going to go to Australia, America. We'll go to Europe because that will probably give us the best server um, ping and stuff. Start on a tranquil world. Start on a hostile world. I think for this first kind of look or re-look as it is, I think we should start on a tranquil world. A new tutorial objective. A new dawn. A new door. Move forward and explore the sanctum. Wazda's mouse is a camera. Space is jump. A left shift is sprint. Okay, that's fairly basic. Not a problem. So as you'll see, it's got it's got. If you haven't seen my previous videos on this game, um, it's got similarities to the the M word, the M game. Oh, he's beckoning me forward, Mister Man. Um, but it's not the same at all. It's quest driven. There's shops. Um, there's there's lots of things. If I remember rightly from this game when it was first being developed, there's shops. There's regions. There's it's all online as the game was originally called Auto Online. The whole thing is online. It's a persistent world, online all the time. So whenever you play, there's always other people. It's not your own private world. What is this thing? 
Um, collect a totem and the warp augment. Okay, then we've just got them. Uh, equip the totem. Citizens have the ability to quick equip several objects at once. Open your inventory E and place the totem in your left hand. Okay, click and drop there. Uh, when viewing your inventory, uh, hold on. combine the warp augment with the totem. Okay, click and... Okay, what does that do? Oh, of course, yeah, this is, this is gets us, I, I did this earlier, I had a quick go and I've forgotten already. This fires us off into the world, this literally gives us, this is a tool that you use a lot, but to start with, it literally gets us ready into the world. Um, okay, a bit above are the known worlds, ready for your, for exploration. Look at the world above you, then hold the left mouse button to jettison the warp augment and set your landing site. Warp augments are one-shot items destroyed in impact, press B to view where other citizens have settled. Okay, right, this is the world. So if I press B, you can see where other people are, like the little, the little sort of areas of where where citizens have landed. Now, do we go where other people are? Or should we go somewhere just fresh and new for now? Maybe we should go somewhere fresh and new. Let's just sort of go. What, what's here? What we got here? This is. Oh, these are worlds here. Okay. Pro proxygen proxygen. We could go somewhere sort of on that world, but away. Or should we go for our own little? What's this one here? I wonder. I like the fact that there's, there's, there's lands that haven't been... Oh no, don't do that, don't do that, don't do that. We press the fire, I fire my totem. That's it. That's where I have to go. I think we should go on this world here. Let's just go up here, hold the button down. And there's our landing site. Done. Whew. Right, so here it says, Now the speedy answer to travelling the known worlds. Obtained through craft or trade, a warp conduit blocks are used to build warp conduits like those in the Sanctum. Look at either of the warp conduits at the far end of the sanctum, then press E to interact and activate a warp to your chosen destination. As you'll see now on the left in my little uh, my totem, the little yellow blob has gone now. I've fired it up to my landing site there. Um, and this will now create a, uh, a portal. That's my inventory. A portal. Press E to interact. No. Press E to interact. Press E. Press E to interact. Oh, okay. That's it. That's it. That was me being stupid. Let's move back a bit so I can see my man. Hang on. I was doing it right, people. Don't panic. I was doing it right. Okay, so there's the landing site. Imoco is where we're going. We're going to click on that. It says that we are World Imoco, server region Europe, and it says level one, placid, lush world. Active citizens, 64. There's 64 people in this world. Boom. Okay, there you go. So it is now. It says break blocks to open. Now this, again, if you haven't seen uh, my previous videos on this game, um, the portals in this world are something pretty special, in my opinion. Um, you'll see in a second, when I break this, you'll see that when you break this portal, like a bit like in Minecraft where you just get a, a nether portal or an end portal, and you can't see what's through it, here you get to see what is through it. So as you see, like, I've now broken that portal, and you can walk round, and this is the world that we're in. So if I walk through here and turn, if you see, if you, if you look on that side, so there's some trees over there. If I walk through here, and... We are now in the world. You'll see it. those trees are over there. You've discovered Imoco. Okay, so as it says there, the warps don't always open in a, in a, play, a safe place, but we've been fairly lucky here. There are some animals, but I think we're in a safe location, so we're okay at the moment. Um, uh, okay, let's let's head on. Read the rewards of your efforts in the exchange. You can ex visit the exchange pressing tab to open the character menu, then selecting exchange. Okay, exchange we have a thing stone objective copper this is like a, a little loot crate if you like a loot chest 25 coins and 60 cubits perfect right i'm gonna hold down the tip to get rid of that one because we don't need that one anymore and i've now got exchange your new two uh, your new cubits for two plot world copper okay so you get coins you get xp and you get cubits uh plots can i exchange that for a plot yes i can there we go, and I'm going to get something for this now. This I think is my this is my plot area. So now I can I can build an area, and basically it's a bit like um, uh, a world sort of protection area in Minecraft. Um, I'm sorry for using Minecraft as a comparison, but it's it's an obvious comparison. So if you're playing on a, on a survival server, an SMP, and you get a little area that's yours that no one else can break, that's basically what the plot will do. Um, right, I've got to gather. It says in the top left-hand corner, gather tree trunks in your inventory, two of them, and gather foliage in your inventory as well. Okay, let's press escape, and let's go and find some trees. As you can see, the game is quite pretty. It's kind of very blocky, very sort of voxel. Um, I'm just going to have a look at the uh, look at the water. Look, it's looking lovely. You can go in the water, and you can see there's a proper world of stuff underneath. Well, that is over there. We're going to come out, though. We don't, we don't need to go in it yet, because it's unnecessary. 
But you're, there is a, a wealth of stuff underground. Right, we need to find some trees. Let's find some trees. There's no trees around here. It looks like this world has been pillaged. I'm going to head this direction. And we're going to get some tree trunks and some foliage. Then we can start building weapons and things. Um, we're not going to attack the, uh, the monsters at the moment because they will kill me quite quickly. And we don't need that. So we're going to head over round, round. We're going to go up, up and round. Over to there, there's a tree, if we can see in the far distance. So we'll head over there. Um, and then we'll see we'll see what's what. This We've, we've kind of come across a very fairly barren area here, haven't we, really? I don't think I need to dig up any plants or anything like this at the moment. What's this stuff? This is... What is this? This is just rock. Shall I grab some rock? I might as well grab some rock. Some sedimentary rock. As you can see, once you break it, it becomes square and it goes into your inventory. A bit like another game that we all know and love. Well, some of us love it. I do. Uh, there we go. Boom. Right, I've got three pieces of that. Uh, I can't see any trees yet, so we're going to carry on. We've now found a Pierberg Undy, a new region. What is that down there? Is that anything? Uh, what is this? This is just igneous rock. Okay, we'll grab some of this as well. Because why not? And what's this stuff? And this is metamorphic rock. I don't know if we need much rock at the moment. I think it might give us better weapons maybe in time. But for now, I think we'll just do what our, our tutorial says. But for this episode, if you guys like it, we'll carry on. But for this episode, I think we're just going to do the tutorial, which means finding trees. I probably haven't found a very good region here, to be fair. I think we could have found, we definitely could have found a better region. But we'll get up onto this kind of opening, up onto this. Oh, what's this stuff? It's copper. <gasps> it's copper. Okay, right, we're definitely going to grab this if I can. Takes, as you can see, it takes quite a long while. I probably need a, like a pickaxe or something for this. As long as it doesn't break and I can get it, it does get it. Okay, we're going to grab this stuff because, again, um, never seen this in the game before. This is all new. There's so many new things. Um, I'll leave a link to the game in the description. And when I got it, it was quite relatively cheap because it was, it was early access. Um, it's not so cheap now. It's £32 or £33 or something. Um, but I'll leave a link if you want to have a go yourself. It is a good game. Um, it may be, if I can, I may try and get some copies if the developers uh, are, uh, are being nice enough. They may give me a couple of copies perhaps that we can give away. I'll see. Um, I'm not sure if I can get in touch with them again. But um, yeah, we'll see what we can do with that. And if we can, then I'll give some away maybe in a future in a future episode. If you guys will be interested. Uh, let's go this way. I need to find trees. I need to find trees. Trees, please. Uh, come on. Strike, strike trees to type and release and collect the trunks. We'll use wheel up and wheel down to cycle between. Oh, okay, you cycled. Oh, I see, right. So the wheel up and wheel down cycles through your through your hotbar. Oh, that's very clever, isn't it? It does both at the same time. That's very good. I like that. Okay, right, we've got to get around here. We've got a bit of a we've got a bit of a mission on our hands here to try and actually find any trees, which I didn't think it would be a struggle, because the last time I played it I came out into a massive dense forest and I had trees everywhere. But it looks like here we're gonna we're gonna struggle a bit more. Stout wild stock. We are not going to attack you. You will kill me. Um, yeah, we don't want to be we don't want to be doing that. Let's. Uh, why are there no trees? Literally anywhere around here. We're very careful as well because you do, do take full damage when you uh, when you go down. I think the I think it's the green bar is our health, and the yellow bar is stamina. I think. I think. Might be wrong. Right, it looks like we've got lots of trees over here, so we're going to go across here. Um, let's just have a quick look at the graphics updates. Let's have a look at the settings a minute and just see if. Uh, graphics, what we got? We've got FPS, minimum FPS, field of view, master quality, auto, low, medium, high. Okay, so high is the thing we're going to go for. Terrain detail, extreme. There we go. We'll leave, we'll leave all that like that. That will do. Okay. Let's just let's just see if that makes a difference to what we're seeing. It does a little bit. And it doesn't really affect the uh, the frame rate at all, which is good. So steady 30. Uh, let's go this way. Yeah, let's head over here. There are trees here. So we massive trees here. These these things here are all tree trunks. So we're good here. With lots of trees. They have definitely tweaked the graphics from when I played it last. It was a bit more square looking, um, but that's not a bad thing. It gets away from what we're used to, you're no longer affected by full up. I don't know what that means. Right, let's grab, let's break this, break this tree. Twisted wood trunk. We're hitting two and two of damage each time. So it now says in the top left hand corner says that we've got one of two tree trunks. We're about to get the second one, and then it says that it'll go line through it. There we go. It's done now. I've got to get foliage. Now I need to get up in the up in the uh, up here a little bit more to get the foliage. So I'm going to break some of the leaves. Four hits gets us foliage. We need four pieces of foliage, and I think we can then craft our first our first item. 
<clears throat> because it's a tutorial, I'm going to literally follow exactly what it what it says, tells us to do in terms of uh, in terms of that. Right, world markers. Hold a totem and look at a world. See planet markers. Okay, we'll do that. We did that. That was what we did in the um, in the start. It tells you what the world looks like when you're when you're choosing your land. Ready to craft. Open the inventory with E. Select handcraft, then choose recipe to instant craft. You have to be added to your inventory. Uncraft a recipe. Scavenge for resources for returning to the handcraft menu. Okay, press E. Go to handcraft. We've got five things we can make. Basic totem we've already got. Twisted uh, wood timber we can make from those logs that we've got. Um, we can also make some sticks and we can also make a campfire. Okay. Um, it doesn't say what we should make. So what else can we make? We can make a hammer with we need some timber and we need sticks. We've got foliage. Okay, so if I make if I make some um, if I make some sticks first then craft four of them, then in theory now I should be able to make myself a Oh, timber. I need to make timber first. Okay, so make timber. There we go. And I need to make... Oh, I haven't got enough yet, so I need to make... Four. So I need a few more bits of wood before I can do that. Let's, let's grab this then. Let's quickly do that. And then we'll make a campfire as well. And then in theory, we can actually protect an area that we're in now. For this, this sort of tutorial video, I probably won't stay here. This is just really for you guys to see if you like it. <clears throat> and you can tell me in the comments if you want me to do more. Um, if you do... As a little break from the Minecraft series, then obviously I'd be happy to to do so. Um, I did say that I was going to delve into Minecraft um, only for now on the channel, but this game I've played before, and I just sort of said I wanted to give it a go again just to see what it was like. I mean, it is very reminiscent of Minecraft, so I don't really see it being a major issue. Right, let's grab some more. Um, okay, because now can I? I can now make a hammer, a shovel, and an axe. Let's make a. Excuse me. Let's make an axe. I've got four of everything done we've now made that and I now guess I can't make a campfire so what do you need for a campfire we need a trunk we need some more foliage so let's make some more let's grab some more foliage let's go this way and grab the foliage here we go then I can make a campfire then this area is protected I can just show you how that oh what do I get then I've got some straw starberry I thought it said strawberry a starberry very nice uh, there we go should have used my axe really shouldn't I there we go. So we've got some enough foliage now for, for for now. Let's go into my inventory and let's move the axe into into the right hand. Um, and we haven't quite got enough foliage yet. Hang on. So if I grab, if I right click now, I can use the axe. There you go. Look. And it's going 300 damage instead of 200, which is much better. A couple of hits now. And we're getting like three hits now. We're getting bits that we need, which is good. I'm guessing the trunks are going to be the same, are they? Still four, but not too bad. Let's grab a bit more wood, just grab a couple more bits here. So it's taking like four hits, whereas this took five hits. Three, yeah, four, five. Okay, that's not two or six even, that's not too bad. Two, three, four. Acts are best used for chopping down organic blocks such as wood, trunks, foliage, and plants. Yeah, we know that. Okay, that's fine. I'll get rid of that tip. Hold down E. That one goes away. Perfect. Right, let's craft some more. So let's craft ourselves a campfire. There we have. We have our cramp, uh, our cramp, our camp fire. Let's put that into our inventory, um, and we'll plonk that down there. There we go. Right now, I think we can now use the wheel. Now, yeah, there we go, and we can now plonk this down. As you can see, it gives you like it shows you where you're where you're safe. So if we make my campfire within like an area like here, for example, if I plonk the campfire there, so we now have that is our safe zone. That is our safe area. Tutorial objective complete. Setting up camp. Uh, press B to toggle beacon view. So that is where our beacon view is. Okay, that's cool. So we can see what we've got. The the fire is fueled for two hours. So I'll turn off beacon for now, and also, actually, I'll hold down that and get rid of the the tool tip for that. So we don't need that anymore. So I can I can see that's our this is our area. And if ever we need to find it, I'm guessing when we run away, it will. Uh, it will tell us that the uh, where our where our plot of land is. If I, if I walk away, I'm guessing it shows me. Yeah, so I can see it from a from a distance. It's like lines come up and everything. So it's, that's good. Okay, what we've got to do now? Cra collect an objective reward from the from the exchange. Okay, back to the exchange with tab uh, rewards. I'm guessing. Here we go. Wood objective coffer. What do we get? This is definitely this is so much more involved than before. This is really good. Um, what do we get there? We got 50 coins and some more XP. Okay, let's do that one as well. The stone one. What do we get now? 100 cubits and that's all. And we got some, what do I get? What else did I get? Unspent skill points. Okay, what do I do that? In the press tab and bring up my skill points. Where are they? In the skills tab. 
Uh, where's, 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 where's skills? Where, what's, what's, press tab, oh, character, sorry, I missed that. Character and skills, there we go. Oh, wow, we've got skill trees and everything. This is very in-depth, isn't it? This is quite good, okay. So what do we do then? Um, so we've got four skill points by the looks of it. And this, this requires one. Vitality bonus. Increases your vitality by 10 points, which increases your maximum health by 130. Your stability by 100. Okay. Uh, power bonus. Increases your power by 10. Increases your damage to creatures and blocks by 5. And your vigor by 200. Vigor is used in the centriforge. Control bonus. Improves control by 10 points, which increases your interaction range by 1 meter. Okay, so you can reach things from a bit, bit better. Okay, we can get nearer creatures as well. Dexterity. Action speed by two and block placement. Agility increases my sprinting. Don't need that at the moment. Intelligence bonus. Healing poten uh, potency by 10%. Not too much of a problem. Boost luck by 10 points, which decreases the chance of rarer drops from blocks and creatures. Um, increases zeal by 10, which increases your maximum energy by 50. And your debuff duration modified by 6%. If you can hear a chewing, like a chewing and crunching. It's not me, by the way. The dog has got his little, um, Max has got his little cow's tail. He's gnawing his way through. Which is what you can hear, possibly, if you can hear any noises at all. Um, boost all attributes by two points. We could do that one, I guess. Boom. Yes, let's do that. Okay. So we've got still got three. And I like the fact that our health can be boosted. And I like that I think we should do... What else can we do here? Bomb mastery. Sling bow mastery. So these weapons we haven't got yet. Hammer mastery. Axe mastery. Yeah, we'll do that one, I think. We'll, we'll upgrade our, our axe skills and then possibly let's do it again, shall we? There we go. We'll just do, we'll just do axe for now. So we've got no skill points left, but we've upgraded our axe and we've upgraded a few other things as well, which is, which is nice. A nice start. There we go. So now what we've got to do, handcraft timber from tree trunks. Ten of them we need to do. So let's grab some more. Let's see how quick now our axe. Oh, they're three, three, three now. It's definitely quicker. Still four hits, but it's definitely quicker. So if we can add, sort of upgrade your mastery of each item, then very soon you're going to be digging much quicker, um, which will be in, in, in cutting down trees quicker. There's no gravity, as you can tell, so blocks don't, um, the trees don't fall down when you cut them, which probably is a good thing, to be fair. So that will end up being a bit of a nightmare. Right, let's grab this last piece here. Yeah, we, oh, there's more in the ground, you see. Have you got root system, wonder? There is like a, there is like a root system, which is good. Um, where's my token? There we go. Let's just grab you. Dig this dirt. I want to go down here and get this one as well. I like the fact this does this. I, I love that. Actually, I need, what I should do is actually... Yeah, we have. We have got like... I need to just need to remove... Let's move that to there. And then both my items can be uh, used at the same time. That's a better way of doing things. We can left click with our totem and we can right click with our with our axe, which is good. Okay, um, let's see if we can turn these now into um, twisted wood trunk. So if I now, oh yeah, I can just do it in here, can't I? So I need to get 10 pieces. Even though I've already done some, it doesn't count them, obviously. So I've got 14 available, two, four, in the top left hand corner, it's counting up six, eight, ten. There we go. Done. What does it say now? Handcraft a crafting table from timber. Crafting table. I've got the timber. Craft a crafting table. Craft more, do more. <clears throat> Perfect. Okay. Place a crafting table near your campfire. I will do that. No problem. Inventory. Crafting table in my left hand. And then we'll plonk it down right there. Perfect. Okay. What do we do now? Timber in your inventory. So I need 12 timber, 12 sticks, and I need 12 foliage. And then we're going to make something new, I'm guessing. So let's go and get some more um, wood this down I noticed that when I, I move the I move the uh, the I thought that well, originally these were both these were both in the same slot on my hot bar but they're not obviously anymore which is weird we've got enough wood anyway we'll get we've already got enough for now for enough for, certainly for this tutorial I would think I'd be interested to see oh, what was that I picked up. What was that? I got a some sap. Very nice. Also here, you'll see these things here. I noticed this when I was doing my little trial before. Rock smart stack. So I picked up different rocks when I was digging underground a little early at the start of the kind of start of the video. And if you click, oh, if you click on it and right click, it then tells you what other items you've got. So it kind of it kind of puts them into subcategories for you, which is nice. So you don't fill up your inventory too too quickly, um, which is good. Right. Okay. So we've got we've got some. 
We've got some more of this, so let's let's hand craft. Actually, now let's get some sticks first. We need 12 sticks. There's 12 sticks. We need some more wood. Two. 12 of them. Then we just need foliage. So we need to go and chop down a tree. Not chop down a tree, but chop down the leaves from a tree. Um, can I reach if I go up a bit higher? Certainly can here. This is good. This so my axe is losing. Um, hello. Any of you? There we go. Um, yeah, it looks like my, my axe is losing. Um, it's degraded. It's sort of degrading in quality. So it's, it's losing. Um, it's losing its its hit points, which is a good thing, I suppose. You need to keep refreshing your your uh, your stuff. I've got some more food, so I can eat that. My health is going down. My green bar. So I'm going to test that in a minute and see if that actually is. Um, can I? Is that foliage? I'm getting seeds. Okay, so I can make farms. I'm guessing. It's not giving me foliage though, that's okay though, we'll cut this down. Uh, eight, nine, we've got nine. Uh, ten, oh, come here you, I need to get that one as well. Got Eleven, oh, and you, come on. Come on, son, come on. You fall on my head, there you go, look. And this one will give us the last one, the mini for the foliage. Perfect, we have twelve foliage as well, done. What does it say now? Craft or acquire a wooden hammer and a wooden shovel. Ding ding, my phone is going. I've really should have to put things on silent, shouldn't I? Very unprofessional of me. Right, okay. A wooden hammer. So I can make the wooden hammer in my normal uh, my normal crafting. So let's have a look. I can make a hammer craft and I can make a shovel craft. Done. Perfect, there you go. Tutorial objective complete. Getting crafty. Perfect. So we've got some more stuff now. What are we turn it saying to do now? A base for the long haul. Cool, okay, collect an objective reward card from the exchange. Let's do that quickly. Then probably what I'll do is I'll probably leave it there um, because I think that it's now going to be making, getting us to make a base. And I think I want to do that in um, in a proper proper video that we find a place for the, our permanent home and stuff like that if you guys want us to do it. So says you now have your first qubits, an in-game currency which you can use in the exchange. You will earn qubits every time you level up, even past level 50. I think we've done this already, haven't we? So we've got some more. Exchange your new qubits for a two-plot what wood coffer in the plots tab. I'm sure that we've already done that. I've got to make some more now, have I? I've already surely done that. Oh, I see. We make it. Are we getting like a larger plot area now? Two plots. Okay, we've got some more. Right. Okay, that's done. Each plot allows you to reserve an area where you can place blocks, furnishings, and machines to protect them from the world regeneration and other citizens. Plots cannot be lost, destroyed, or transferred. Oh, I see. So the worlds must regen automatically. Um, but by placing them in your plot, when the world regens, it doesn't regen in your area. Which is a good thing, I guess, because if you've cut down a massive forest and you want to use it for your base and the world regens, then that's not a good thing. Um, okay, rocks, the tough alternative to wood. Found on the side of mountains or underground, break with a hammer for best results. Trapped underground, you can return to the sanctum from the options menu. Okay, so you can get out. But I think it's about half an hour or so, 28 minutes video. So we'll leave it there, guys. If you want, to, if you want me to carry on um, and you've watched through to the end, let's put, um, yes, carry on with Boundless. Carry on with Boundless in the comments. Um, and yeah, and if you in, if you seem to enjoy it, and you or you've played it, give me hints, give me tips. But if you do enjoy it, we'll do some more. We'll try and maybe start again, or we'll we'll go on a wander from here, um, in this world, and we'll try and find somewhere that we can call our own, somewhere to start a base, make a house, and we'll see how we go. So for now, thank you very much for watching this episode of Boundless. Um, and yeah, I'll see you soon. Thanks, guys. Bye.